I'll go back to work. Roderick, don't forget to... <sighs> Jeez, I heard it when you said it the first time. I'm not deaf. <sighs> Anyways, Craig's not feeling well because of the medicine's effects. So, for God's sake, leave him alone. And if you... <coughs> Are you all right, Roderick? Uh, well, no. I mean, this chit chat of yours is making me sick. Ah, screw this. Listen, I need to go now. One of my son's school called and it turns out he got badly injured. I... I need to take him to the hospital and... Uh, Frank? I don't think I can release you again. I mean, you already left yesterday and if I were to... Uh, hey, hey! Uh, don't, don't look at me like that! If this was up to me, you'd be free without any problems! But it's just that Mr. Warren never lets any of us free someone for two days in a row, and if I were to let you go, we both could get fired. So, you should go talk to him yourself. Good luck, though, seriously. Of course you can take your son to the hospital. Really? Sure. I mean, what kind of heartless monster do you think I am? Wow. Uh... Well, thank you so much, sir. Okay, uh, but after your son leaves the hospital and you drop him off at home, I want you to come back. But don't worry, take your time. You see, your co-workers complain that I'm being too soft with you and that we need to hurry the projects that you're- Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, uh, Frank, calm down. Calm down? <sighs> I don't have any idea if my son's seriously injured or, or if he needs me to stay with him and you'll just make me stay in this damn hell? Fuck! What if it was one of your sons that- Hey! Never try to play with my feelings again, Hefley. You know, you're actually extremely lucky that I won't fire you for daring to raise your voice at me. <sighs> now look, Frank. I know your life has been very difficult lately, but- I can't keep releasing you every time one of your children gets in trouble. You have been involved in many projects and commissions. But don't worry, I won't deduct anything from your salary. So, you can go ahead and take your son to the hospital. <sighs> Alright. Selfish piece of shit. Hey! If the door breaks, you'll be the one paying for the repair! <sighs> Craig, honey? Sweetheart, we're home! Huh? <gasps> Mom? Mom? It's... Is it... Is it really you this time? Time... Hmm... Why do I... Why do I always hope it's... Her? We're here, sweetie. Right here. Hello? Hmm... Huh? Huh... The car is... Already gone. Too late. Did you die in there? You know you don't live alone, remember? I want to use the bathroom as well. Are you deaf? 
Did you hear all that noise? I almost died. Yeah, 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 whatever. Just hurry up in there. I want to use the bathroom too. <sighs> hey, Roderick. Well, uh, uh, long time. Hey, hey, loser, get down here. There are some weirdos that probably want to see you. Hey, Greg. Yeah, they, <laughs> they want to see you too. How's your arm? Yeah, it's better. I think... Hey! I know something that- Can we come in? No. Huh? Oh, that sucks. I was really looking forward to it. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to show you my freckle collection. Uh, excuse me? But, I don't think anyone here was talking to you. <sighs> yes, well, that's true. But, I'm the one in charge of the house now, you little widget. And I don't want this house filled with some weird nerds like you, so get out! <laughs> hey! Are you serious? What is the matter with you? Well, if I can't see my friends, nothing fairer than you not being able to see yours either, right? You know what? Well, I'll tell Dad about everything! Yeah, I'll tell him that it was you that... That bro... Uh, uh. Wow, are you really begging me to finish breaking your arm? Noah, uh, you, you, you wouldn't do that. I don't know, would I? Let's see if your arm can- Okay, 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 I- I won't- I won't tell dad nothing about it. Great, <laughs> and plus, I remember that dad said that you can go over to any friend's house, but- he didn't say nothing about them coming over to our house, did he? No, yeah, you... You got a point. You know, I was about to say how any dumbass idiot would think about it and else. But did I remember that? We were talking about you! So, the fact that you didn't think about something that simple doesn't surprise me! Oh, <laughs> Oh, quite a long face. Don't worry, you'll see those weirdos tomorrow at school. Yeah, well, tomorrow is Saturday. And I was about to say that any dumb uh, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. F forget it. <sighs> Whatever. I'll get Manny now. I'm probably late because you made me waste my time. Oh, and I don't want to come back home and see those weird nerds here. This is a friendly warning. Got it? Hey, dude. Hey, Tyson. That guy with you earlier was your brother, right? Yeah. Look, I don't want to offend you, Greg, but man... Your brother is a jackass! Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? But, to be fair, was he always like this? Yes. If you say so. <sighs> Fuck off, Manny. Craig? Craig? Oh, what's taking Craig so long? Alright, I'm here, come on! Huh? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, where's Craig? Yeah, well, that idiot hurt his arm. And since he obviously seems to walk with his arms now, I'm the one who has to pick you up until he recovers. Now let's go now. Uh, no. Uh, I can awk. Just go! Ah! And, and he, he started screaming at me. He's, he said that my and you ruined his week. And he not let me go on the front suite. Was his band's things in the back of the van, or was it empty? Empty. Well then, congratulations. You're luckier than me. <sighs> that jerk always made me come home with those stupid things almost crushing me. <sighs> but anyway, it's just Roderick being Roderick. You'll get used to it soon. By the way, it's just for a few days. I'll come back to take you to preschool soon, I promise. Okay. And don't forget, I know, I know, 
anti-inflammatory at 6 p.m. Yeah, I won't forget, Dad. Don't worry. Uh, all right. Hmm. Anyway, I'll go to work now. Bye, Greg. Uh, well, uh, okay. That was weird, but I won't complain. <laughs> huh? <coughs> huh? Okay, where did that sound? Huh? Roderick? Uh, seriously, are you smoking? Nah, I'm clearly brushing my teeth right now. How long have you been doing this for? And, and who the hell gave you that? <sighs> yeah, like I would tell you. Did, did you just ignore the campaign's commercials? This thing will make your flesh get rotten. Your, your lungs will get destroyed. You'll, you'll get infections and... And come on, this, this thing will kill you and... <sighs> <laughs> I, I inhaled that! Ah! Uh, calm down, calm down. If you don't die by tomorrow, I won't die either, moron. <laughs> well, what would Mom think of it? I'm serious, Roderick. I mean, don't you ever think about how... Things would be these days if she was still here. What would she do and what would she say? Now I... I don't know why, but in the most random moments, I keep thinking about how my day would be if she was home. What would she have done for me for lunch? What would she say to me when I came home from school? I... I can barely sleep. I can't stop thinking about her. I try to think that she would want me to go to sleep, but... It... It doesn't work. Hmm... Listen... Mom is dead, Greg. She couldn't care less. And... Are you serious? Do you really stay awake all night thinking about this shit? Uh, that explains why you're looking like a raccoon. And I won't waste my time thinking about it. I have far better things to do. So, I'll give you some advice, Greg. Stop thinking about this shit. You're wasting your time and making your face look even weirder than it already is. <laughs> yeah, but... But Dad will care! Yeah! He, yeah, he will! And, and when he finds... And, and when he finds out... <laughs> go on! Go on! Tell him! Tell him! And I swear to God, I'll make you wish you were dead! I wasn't bothering anyone! Nobody cared about that! But, of course, you just had to show up out of nowhere and piss me off! Ah, could you stop ruining my l- D Dude... I... I almost puked. Huh? Ah, and you! Are you fucking serious? Ah, ignore me again, you little brat! I dare- Leave him alone! Get out of my sight. Now. Hey, Manny. Here's your doll back. Thanks, Craig. Oh, yeah. By the way, don't get me wrong. Thanks for helping me in. I owe you one for that. But please don't get yourself involved in my fights with Roderick again. He'll be angry at you, angry at me, and he'll make everything worse. Also... Please promise me you won't tell Dad about, you know, the smokes and the fighting. As Roderick said, he wasn't bothering anyone, so let's just keep things in order, okay? So, do, 
D do you promise me that you won't tell Dad? Right? Promise. Thank you! <laughs> and that's Diary Moon Kid Overflowing Part 6. Sorry if the voices may seem a bit off. My, to be honest, my voice kind of hurts right now. So, yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, next reading will be Dysfunctional Perspectives Part 3. Yeah, trying to release them near each other because, you know, most of you guys come from those, so you probably want to watch more of them. Then, after that, will probably be either Game Over or Greg Will Get You, the Dork Diaries, Diary Room Kid crossover. Yeah, there's a lot of more readings in store, including Clive Part 3. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> anyway, oh, and Manric Rules. Don't forget Manric Rules. Yeah, coming back. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy this reading, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.